the Rubik should be taking a more backseat approach into the fights. And Gambit split. Gambit might just play off right here. As Rinse Q coming in with the approach. They're focusing on Hanskin now. Has the potential first blood on the Rubik. And they might just give it to Rinse Q. Antic so far. Stomanyan. Surrounding the Rubik, but Hanskin doesn't really seem to be bothered by any of this. As actually, yeah, scratch that. He is bothered by this. Stunned up, Stomanyan will become the exchange and puts rest farmers on the board as Shad. Will egotistically take the kill. Six minute by as Mary Wyatt and Stomanyan. They want the Rubik bad. Eventually, there's the frostbite. As in with the freezing field, Mary Wyatt will go in. Stomanyan, combining the connection with the hookshot onto Xantic, but in comes Pablo. With the avalanche, as Sibe comes in for the reaction, Mary Wai will decide to TP out instead. As Stomanyan actually makes it out of there despite the vessel. This even on top of that, it needs a little more. As Stomanyan joining in with the hook shot once again, the freezing field coming out. As Sibe trying to go for the escape, but gets crushed by the lightning. As then the Thunder God's wrath comes out, revealing positions all over the map. But Rest Farmers will not leave this unanswered, taking out Mary Y in exchange for this. Stomanyan, slowed down by his own tools. This Hanskin keeps up the contact, adds Zantic, leaving out an Illuminate, will whiff it. On the other hand, as with another catch in a blinding light, another missed Illuminate, but eventually the clockwork will fall of uh, last year. In Tour 2 of Division 1, that game ended with a win for bait as well. Speaking of a win for bait, I don't think Dendi dying is a possible win as he's just getting controlled. The Zeus is down. They get Pablo in exchange, but overall not the exchange they wanted as Rinse Q needing to stun up Shad to try and keep the Wraith King at bay. But overall, the control is just not there. Another blinding light onto Stomanyan as they try to find a kill onto the Clockwork. The Vessel is just not going to be enough. Another stand on Shad. They just try and keep the enemy at bay. As Pablo is about to respawn and it could create a 5v4 situation. Bait will be caught. Another 5-man smoke up from Bait as they continue the aggression. When will they ever let up? As out comes the Thunder God's Wrath. Hookshot will whiff it. As Atzantic is now caught out. Toss out. Coming out from Pablo, trying to save his teammate, but instead serving Hanskin and Atzantic for Rinse Q. Pablo is eventually next as Bait find their step. They find their strut and they're executing everything perfectly. Shad does have reincarnation back online, but in comes the black hole as they will pull in Sibe into it along with Shad's second life. It's an ultra kill for Rinse Q. At half HP, they transition themselves, or want to transition themselves up top, but in comes Stomanyan, breaking all the Twin Gate TPs. Shad put under the Glimmer Cape, as they're gonna be looking at another stun, another catch, Sibe with the BKB will make his way out of here. As Roshan tries to TP on over to the other side, Dendi. Makes his appearance, coming through the Twin Gates, but the Sven just cannot help out Dendi as Rinse Q has to say goodbye to the Zeus for almost 70 seconds due to the fact that a neutral creep actually kills Dendi. But it doesn't really matter, it's all about the Sven now as Rinse Q tries to make a fight back, but he goes down for 90. Smoke in and jump onto Egger Demon. BKB forced out on the Enigma. Out comes the Thunder God's Wrath. As soon as the reveals come out, can Sibe be controlled? Pablo going in with the Avatos combo. As Hanskin being taken care of by Rinse Q. On the other side of the fight, it's a beautiful black hole coming out for Mega Demon. We're not going to look at the other side of the fight. Who cares? As Sibe and Pablo are being taken care of. 
at Zantic. Chased down by Rinsuku and Stomanyan. As Mary Y makes his escape. Sibe left all alone with the blessing. It's going to be a catch-22. Do you go on Roshan or do you go on the enemy? Well, I guess Rinsuku decides to move on to the enemy instead. Bye back coming out from the Rubik. Trying to make their way over here as Pablo scrambles to make his way back. Yes, Rinsey is just looking super tough, but the double chakram connecting onto the Sven. As in comes Mr. Black Hole Egger Demon, making the connection here. But they move on to the Enigma as the double chakram first finishes off Rinsey then Egger Demon. Placebo is gone. Buybacks are available on these two, but without the God Strength. Without the power, what can you do as bait? As one by one they fall, rest farmers are rest farming bait. Into the pit they go. On the top of that, the respawn time reduction is not bad at all. That the Aghanim Scepter gives you. And I believe it's a bit of bonus attack speed as well, plus 75. So not, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And at the very same time, Rin CQ from behind tries to approach Hanskin, but he's all alone, surrounded by the rest farmer heroes. They're gonna riff on to the Sven, and a bit of a turnaround with the Satanic, but can he be locked in place as the stuns just rain on down on the Sven? Bait cannot do a thing about it, as Egger Demon was actually caught out by Shad in the... Or is he gonna actually turn into a god? As out comes the Thunder God's Wrath to reveal the enemy. Sebe finds connection onto Mary Y, but the CM is drinking to just be the sleight of hand trick. Onto the backline moves bait. But will they find catches? Or just lose Mary Y? Mary Y with a buyback coming into the outpost. A minute and a half until Roshan spawns. So nothing special on that. Hex landing on Egger Demon. What is the Enigma truly in trouble as with the tree wally and everything as well landing onto the Enigma 80 seconds without him could be trouble Adzantic loses his life but with a BKB used he's still gonna move on the Caudal setting up kills all over the place Satanic used on Rinsuq he's gonna be fine as slowly the attrition war these long fights are proving to be a little difficult for rest farmers, but they still take two for the price of no one. Yeah, Atlantic. Atlantic still died. Yeah, you got the coddle, but what next? The Shad, not even dying once. If he has two with the BKB and the black hole running, he's golden. As in goes Sebe with the Shiva's Gar, trying to go for the reveal. They get Stomanyan, destroy the clockwork. It's actually Shad and Sebe are right next to each other, but Egger Demon Placebo's just so damn far away. As the reveal of Mary Bai and Egger Demon right next to each other, down falls the Enigma along with the Crystal Maiden. It's a 5v3 situation which Bait will absolutely not fall for. Another Will-O-Wisp out. A Shad. All he wants to do is hit buildings. And he'll do just that. As Sibe. Zoning with the double chakram. Shad will do his thing. Egger Demon with no response for at least 10 more seconds. As Sibe with another approach. Hexing down the Enigma. Hurricane Pike back and forth action. But it's not enough to get rid of Sibe. Eventually, Dendi will find a way to click off the Will-O-Wisp. The Mega Creeps are available. Rinsey tries to shove off the Creeps. But here comes Shad. He ain't no Creep. As in comes the Black Hole once again onto the Timber. Nice refresh play coming out onto Sibi and Shad. They might just lose the Timber here once. Shad as well. But these two tend to reincarnate due to Aegis and the reincarnation. As they will come back for another round. The stolen black hole from Hanscan and the Willow is the budget. Black hole is just working perfectly. As it's, uh, I guess, not a perfect fountain farm, but more of a threshold of the fountain farm. As the creeps are finishing off the ancient. Rest farmers 
are taking game number one. Not losing anyone in here. Stomanian types out the GGS Sibe, and Hanskin will acknowledge it. Rest Farmers take game number one, 33 to 23, ruining the per. They have a fairly good chance in this game. Game always feels bad as Shad. Gonna get approached here. Cut out, in goes a soul assumption as the return, and it's a beautiful turnaround from the rest farmers. They pick up Mary Wyatt's first blood for Sibe, and even Placebo giving the Visage a double. A Shad needs to go home and reheal and reset. We're back on this mid lane where Xantic and Dendi are facing off. It's looking rather even as once again Rinsiku gets caught out. We said. He doesn't like getting rage level 1, and of course, it might not even help in this situation. <laughs> yeah, scratch it. As Dendi once again in the lead in terms of last hits, dominating the mid lane over at Xantic. Nothing new under the stars. Hanskin, Shad. A bit of an engagement here with the plasma field as Xantic comes on over. Glimpse back onto the Doom with the Solar Bind. The Illuminate takes the kill. The Pegasus rides in the night. As it and it's looking like, looking like that the 2 0 is imminent, but let's see. Good old Thunder Strike onto the Thunder God himself as Dendi. Gonna get Glimpse back. The Illuminate washes over to Zeus, and it's a turnaround, although, yeah, Dendi and Xantic lose their life along with Pablo. A bit of an overextension at the six minute ruin and Hanskin steals the riches for himself. Two kills on the board for bait now as the static link connection from Shad coming out onto the Doom, setting up the kill onto Placebo as Stomanyan. Can he stick under the tower? He's gonna try. As out comes the Eye of the Storm. Coming in with the approach, Tomanyan is gone as Mary Y. Once again, the flying heroes are doomed to die. When it comes to the rest farmers. Add insult to injury, they're trying to fly together everywhere. Tomanyan with a 2k net worth already in the bag. On top. He's about to finish his blink dagger. That is a timing we have to be ought to look out for. But speaking of Phantom has blink timing, it will have to wait just a little more. He was so close in getting it. Oh yeah, that 100 gold he lost. It's not the end of the world. Still doesn't feel good. As the approach on the mid lane is going to come out from Dendi and boys as Dendi takes the kill. Infestation on Mary Y this time around. Stomanyan pulled back onto the top of the river as the call down comes out. They approach the Batrider knowing full well he's not. Uh, there's no life steer surprise inside. Agarneman pull back his placebo, landing the Doom on top of the Visage. Is it going to be enough though? As Rinsiku comes out, wants to run at the enemy, but insta silenced. There is no rage available for the silencer, and they will burst him down. Rinsiku gone. Should the Doom be next? As Lord does not feel disturbed at all, as neither does Sibe and Shad, as they take care of the second tier 2 tower. Moving their attention. There's the top lane. Now comes the Thunder God's Wrath. Nice little lasso onto the Disruptor, but the Static Storm still gonna get dropped as Pablo finds the connection with the Avalanche and the Toss. They'll take out Rinsiku like he's made out of nothing. The life stealer is gone as Shad is diving behind the tier 3 tower. Pablo, once again with the approach. Avalanche toss as Placebo is gone. And Shad has no care in the world. Force staffed into safety. Pablo will tank the damage. <laughs> as Pablo is just treating. Counter smoke just to initiate as uh, Sibe is just breaking everything. Over here with the Sentry Ward, they'll catch him out as the Doom still not landed on anyone. Shad making the approach onto Mary White just cannot decide who to catch as Eggerdemon finally will drop the Doom onto the Razor. 
Could be trouble in the making. Sibe caught out, controlled, but in comes Pablo trying to save the visage. Unsuccessful. Stomanyan. But no more lasso in the play. They'll to let Pablo die. And as long as Shad lives, Ed Zantic will give his life for this fight too. Three for the price of none. As Hanskin is actually going to be fourth. That's a mega kill streak for Rinsecu. The first tier two tower pressure Bait can do in 32 minutes. And the only thing that cannot happen on terms of rest farmers this side is losing Shad. If that is that successful for the bait side, they'll wait for the lasso to be used along with the infestation bomb. But Shad, even with BKB turning about in this fight, is looking tough as the Doom lands onto Adzantic. Shad will try and give chase to the enemy. As there's still three minutes left on the Aegis, but Shad is looking low. Eventually, the Aegis will be popped as Xantic survives at 250 HP. Rinsiku makes his approach, trying to make a catch onto the Razor. But the Razor is extremely low. Out comes the Static Storm, trying to hold on to the Doom. With inside the Kinetic Field, there's nowhere to run for Placebo. As Pablo will run interference with the Tiny, but eventually the Doom will be called out. Solar Suntrum from Sibe will do the execution as Rinsiku is now in the position of tank two down on the side of the rest farmers as they're trying to hold on to this fight Shad falling extremely low Dendi a few more spells should be used another lightning bolt is available as Shad is so extremely low Stomanyan and Rinsiku will do it they will force out the die back on the razor 200 HP on the caudal as Rinse tries to make himself his way forward, but Stomanyan just whiffs off the flame break. The caudal survives as this time it's not what happened in the Fellowship of the Rings. It's the exact heals Doom and his controlled units by 60% of the damage dealt. Who cares? At the very same time, Thunder God's Wrath revealing that there's a smoke play afoot. Glimpse back coming in. As they're trying to make a turnaround, Stomanyan releases Rinsiku. As it's only 16 seconds until the infestation comes out. Hanskin is gone. Rinsiku and Mary Y making the connection along with Eggard Demon. As the Doom is connected onto Shad. The Eye of the Storm Razor needs to make a run for it. Two supports are down, one on each side. As Sibe, once again, the open wounds, about to make a catch. But yeah, Sibe. With the stone form on himself, trying to sit down and survive, but survival is just not available to him. Losing Mary Y, two sports down on bait, but they can still go in for the chase. Rinsey Q, he's just so determined. They need to wait one more minute so that Roshan and Sanj, along with the Manta style and the Octarine Core, I do appreciate the Zeus's damage output here. And it's something we're gonna check at the end of this match, which so it's certainly pretty high as the outcome of the lasso play. On to Sibe. Nice little catch as in joins placebo with this play. Out comes the stone form. And trying to survive, but at the very end. That is just not gonna be enough. Maybe so, maybe so. They, they'll, they'll land on the Nimbus, and as previously shown, it's it's pretty useful. As then they have, with the Refresher Orb, will more than likely just keep on dishing double of those Nimbuses, covering a pretty wide area in every team fight. Pablo, Avatos combo onto the Doom, but look at the damage output of this guy! Jesus! Placebo, where was this Doom last game, man? As Xantic gonna get caught out with the open wounds, but we'll make out with the TP just in time. <laughs> Doing their best, they'll just run down the mid lane. Whoa, rest farmers, that is a that is a ballsy play, my friends. They are gonna try. Obviously, they are more than entitled to do so if they can break the creeps and get at least Megas 
they'll relieve the pressure of their own base. I kind of like the play, but if they lose numbers, it could be dramatically bad. As in goes the lasso on to two. Pablo's in trouble, along with Sebe, who can't really do anything stuck on this high ground. And with them dying, Sebe still has buyback, but Pablo does not. The home minister almost makes a connection. But they're out on time. They should have just shoved in the wave and sent the familiars down onto the bottom tier 3, but... Maybe that lasso play coming out from Stamanyan just confused. I'm Gambit play from the Visage. I kind of feel like it is. But with no lanes shoved out, you can't even go for the rat play. Top. Top is your only bet as Hanskin tries to move in with the Static Storm. Trying to lay off the enemy of the racks. But at the very same time, Rinseq and Placebo, they just move in onto Shad. Catch out the Razor. It's a double lasso on the pause one, two. Shad back into the safety of the fountain. Can they turn it in? Yes, it looks like they'll be okay. Back to the racks. Bait. Is it to your fours or is it the racks? First the racks. They'll be patient with it. As the buyback of the Visage will be forced out. Sibe. Doing his best to just be a little aggressive in the stone forms. They'll hex down the life stealer. Load us up into the air. They throw him, but they'll chain stone him for now. Can they hold on to him? The familiars caught him out, but the four staff save him. Mary, why? He has the surprise. And of course, Rinsecu healed back. Who will want to look for the turn? Half HP on the life stealer, but can rest farmers make the catch? Keeping up the contact. Sibe. Another stone form. And yes, it will not be enough. Rin CQ caught out, dead for a hundred, but has the buyback. So if it's up to another Roshan fight, <laughs> as the map is absolute. But yeah, the Necromagon creeps are doing a good job showing out the bottom lane. How long will it last? And they still believe, like, Rin is having the best time in this game. You know, you just infest your Batrider and you just chill out. As in comes the Static Storm, the chaos ensues. As the AoE Doom lands on Pablo, trying to disengage from the other side as out comes the Thunder God's Wrath as Sibe loses his life and for two minutes there is no Visage. Shad, with the BKB still live and a Refresher Orb already spent, Shad will need to fight back and he will need to fight back hard. They get Stomanyan in exchange for Pablo. Buyback from the Batrider as Shad is just fighting off all of the enemies, gets Dendi and gets Placebo as well. The damage, he stole 141 damage on the Razor, by the way. So, of course, he'll deal 18k overall on the enemy. Just get on the high ground and kill them. Or get on the high ground and destroy the base. Like, just get the racks, whatever. No, with the pickoffs potential and the Hanskin finding the AoE control is just too much of a risk. But they'll attempt to wrap around. As in goes Placebo, onto Shad they make the connection, inside the fountain, the Shad falling down a little low, but with the BKB and the turnaround they're gonna make a way for it. As Hansken is being manhandled right now, the Disruptor should not die, but he does. 400 gold away from the buyback, this is trouble. As at the very same time Atzantic runs in to the Refresh Doom, trying to find the control, Shad, a potential turnaround, his Refresher will be popped along he still has a satanic to use if he needed be as hurricane pike push back onto rinse q they are just gonna slap him down as rinse q will die once jeez yes they get the range racks but rinse q needs to make a run for it lotus orb they're spelling all the spells just being shoved at the life stealer but once again another solar bind another catch a four staff this time around to pull him off a shad Looking for the Plasma Field play. And Shad is just torn. Do I Aghanim Scepter here? Or do I make the play here? As with the Sheepstick Expel from Sibe, he'll need to buy back and come back for another round. As Rin CQ just cannot be shaken off. Once again, the Nullfire lands on him. But will the Manta Illusions get the racks? This time it's Dendi's coming onto the high ground. And it's ticking off slowly but surely. But at the very same time, Illuminate will be needed to use against the Super Creeps, against the base, as the Mega Creeps are now available. It's only Atzantic and Chad trying to hold on to the base. But Bait is looking to get 
the 1-1 one, one right now. And Zantic with the buyback. Moving on to the tier 4s. Bait are just keeping up the pressure with 80,000 gold in the lead. Finally, Placebo arriving with another Doom. Sitting on top of Shad. And with the Razor dead, this should be the game. As the tier 4 falls, there's no fortification to defend this. But they will try. Shad just got his buyback as the Static Storm lands on top of them. But Rinse Q, four staffs over the Ancient. And Bait will even up the series one to one. Third time to charm going with West Farmers once again. We'll see. As we're looking at Mary Wine, once again with the exchange up top, Hanskin. To support trades back and forth each side trying to find a bit of advantage down bottom the sentries exchange lives as mary Y eats a blood grenade here's the whirling death approach from sibe as bottom is where we're gonna get our first blood exchanging with pablo those right clicks along with the thunder strike hurt like hell glimpse will be disruption saved but eventually in comes sibe and pablo will take his pound of flesh Six minutes on the clock. Let's see the contest for the power rune. And what's it gonna be? It appears up the top as Hanscam will steal the arcane. Eventually, in comes Atzantic with the assist. Rolling Thunder, wanting to come out from the Pangolier. Eventually losing Hanscam along with his arcane rune as Atzantic tries to search for Dendi but does not find the Zeus. We'll move back towards the lane. 2-1 as in comes the Rolling Thunder. Once again, chase on to Dendi as Pablo says hi from the other side. Disruption coming in with the save. Mary Y wants to save Dendi, but he's not going to be successful. Atzantic coming in with the pullback from the Flame Break. Body blocking the Pangolier as in comes the Primal Split, but it's not going to be enough. Time to brawl, says Egger Demon. And he's going to take his pound of flesh on Atzantic. It will basically be a nice little recovery itemization coming out from the face of Swade. Sebe at the same time. Coming on to the fake Disruptor, which is actually called the Shadow Demon. And the real Disruptor, Pablo, going in with the glimpse onto Stomanyan. They go, and the Batrider has nowhere to run, eventually dying to Shad's time dilation. Invis rune on Dendi. Uh, Stomayan also makes an appearance. It's not two cores and one support on the side of Arrest Farmers. Shad. Not even looking for the angle with the Chrono. Pablo on the other side. This could just be an easy kill on Stomayan that they'll take gladly. Turn around. Just zoning onto Dendi. They don't really want to go for the catch or the chase. They just want this tier 1 tower. Well, if Mary Wai overextends, why not kill him as well? Because even with the Demonic Purge finally leveled, Hanskin and everyone else seems to be fine. But yeah, if all of you all remember, Chad was struggling to pop off in terms of that farm with the Wraith King. This time it's with the Faceless Void, but as soon as he gets the Maelstrom, that pressure, that slowness should be mitigated. Uh, Stomanyan caught out. The Bat Rider falls. Stomanyan. Trying to shake off at Zantic. But eventually, the Rolling Thunder comes on through. Even with the Satyr. Keeping up the connection. Disruption save. Coming out from Mary Wise. Swashbuckle for the back turn. Even Glimpse back onto the Bat Rider, but no kill. Thunder God's Wrath to reveal everyone's position. As Atzantic tries to run away as much as possible, Pablo breaking the Psyblade's angles as Sibe with the DD rune turning in on to the Templar Assassin with the Static Storm as well. Out comes the Primal Split from Egger Demon as Placebo trying to keep contact onto the Timber Saw. Reactive Armor working overtime, but the 22 charges on it don't seem to be enough. Chakram back and forth, but eventually Dendi will just pop the Timber Saw. Maybe the trees are not the true enemy, Sibet. 
But yeah, as the ambulance takes Hanskin away back into the fountain. It's going to be a pullback onto Dendi. Glimpse back onto the Zeus. Can they keep up the connection? Well, I mean, with the Zantic and Shad, this should be a dead Dendi. Once again, it looks like armor might be a high factor in this game, but speaking of high factors, it's that glimpse back once again. Holding on to Dendi. Disruption for it to save. Could it be enough to save the Zeus? No, the answer is no. As, at the very same time, Agar Demon just rejoining after a primal split. Could it be in trouble? Shad. Good dive in, and yes, he does. With the Chronosphere drop onto Mary Wyatt and Agar Demon are gone. As after that, they are just going for the team wipe, and they will get it as well. Sibe with the double. Fate. They're gonna have some trouble with the Faceless Void down the line, but not trouble with Pablo as they find the Disruptor. But in comes the Wrath of, Ra of Rest Farmers. At Xantic. Keeping up the angle, looking and looking as Shad dives into the thick of Dendi and Rinsey Q. Chad in trouble. Ah, he went a little too deep, my friend. At the very same time, nice exchange onto Rinsey Q. They get the Templar as Dendi struggles to find the Timber Saw and will be Chakram down. Downtown Timber Chain from Sibe. As the Timber Saw is just riding the wave, will even leave Whirling Death. And a chalk him into the face of Egger Demon as it's an ultra kill for Sibe. With a primal split and the Storm Panda just whirl uh, winding the faceless split. Okay, never mind. Primal split will be used defensively on Egger Demon. You see, they're trying to keep the distance of the Earth Panda. Now he's putting it on suicidal mode. 15 seconds until it despawns. But at the same time, on the mid lane, it's a rip apart onto Rinsey Q from Shad and the boys. Thirty-five kills already in the game, as it might just be more. As Shad diving forward one more time, looking for the control onto the Zeus as Egger Demon. No primal split, no problem. Like our demon with the cinder brew will shake off the enemy eventually but rest farmers will not leave the mid lane nice and personal up on the high ground 30 minutes in and he's eating some mill damage and a bit more as he dives on forward with the mask of madness still available to him out comes the static storm as they'll just sit on dendy instead the panda the Sibo does not have primal split for four more seconds is it time for a buyback fight, though? The question remains as they'll just rip on at Xantic. Here comes the buyback. Can Dendi and Agar Demon do it? Primal Split still available as Shad trying to sit on top of the Brueling, but there's that Primal Split we talked about. Shad still has Aegis for 33 seconds, but they'll need to try and pop it or just control him a little bit more. They're trying to bait him in, but the right clicks from Rinse Q. Appear to be too strong. Sibe from the other side. Catching out Mary Y as this fight has been going on for so long. Eventually another Chrono falls out. Rinse Q dead once again. Just like in the beginning of the previous one. It might not have been the fight being this long. But the siege. But at the same time. Rest Farmers. Three times the kills on Rest Farmers. And their cores are just so extremely ahead. I can already hear it in my mind. Everyone just screaming, It's Jover! It's Jover! Leave Dendi alone, man! It's Shad. They just glimpse back. The Brewmaster. But yeah, with the disruption save, it's still gonna be like another chance. But who cares? We're focusing on the racks. The Shad will take them off the bottom lane as well and now with two lanes open Egger Demon just trying to survive 33 seconds until the primal split and Shad even without Aegis is just sitting about having a grand old time as they set their eyes on Rinsecu Shad and Atzantic 
Undeterred and chasing BKB. BKB this. As it's Zantic and Shad with the chase. The bash hits. As with the Static Storm, they almost catch Dendi. But who needs a Static Storm when you've got Sibe on the hunt? Another team wipe. As someone types out the GG. And the third game does not go to 60 minutes. But it will mean a victory for Rest Farmers. 35 to 11. They'll take game number three of the series. After four hours of gaming, the first match of the day has been decided. But yeah, a wonderful, wonderful game from both sides.